All right, welcome back to Trinity Coffee Break. I'm so excited about this episode because we're going to talk about a new journey we're going on as a church. If you've been watching these and you're anywhere around the world, quite honestly, you can go on this journey with us. And so we're going to talk a little bit more about the Together We journey and building a Together We Center. And here's what's cool. Today, I've got Brian Greider and I got Brian Hill. So it's the three Brians all with us right here. Brian, Brian, and Brian. And by the way, uh, we know that they love Jesus because they both spell their name with an I, B-R-I-A-N. So we're, we're all aligned on that. It's really, it's really, really great. Many of you know Brian Greider is the man behind the camera and the man behind so much here at our church, uh, but also very, very involved in our community. He's a vice mayor of Mustang and is involved in a lot of other things community-wise. Brian Hill is a state representative for our district out here in the Canadian County kind of area. And uh, so he's, he's been on one of our episodes before. Great to have you back and to be a part of this one. So here's what I want to do. You know, along the journey of the Together We Journey, if you haven't checked it out, go to journey.trinitychurchok.com, journey.trinitychurchok.com, and you can find out all about what we're doing and building a Together We Center, updating our worship center. And in the midst of this process, building a Together We Center, we really have a heart to, we want to make an impact in this community like, uh, prayerfully nobody's ever done. And God's really put this heavy on our heart. He's given us the vision for it. I shared a lot uh, just a, a Sunday ago that I talked all through this process. But we were talking about it as a staff about a month ago, Grider. And, uh, and at the end of that staff meeting, you came into my office. And, and man, we got pretty excited together. Well, just walk everybody through a little bit of that process because Brian is going to be the staff member on our staff that oversees the Together We Center. But I love the story. It's like God was just putting all these little puzzle pieces together that really led to us launching the vision when we did. And you were a big part of that and a big part of following that staff yeah. member. So walk, walk through some of that. Yeah, it was actually more than a month ago. It was actually like February or March. Yeah, time flies like through COVID-19. Yeah. But um, <laughs> just kind of hearing, you know, some of the different things um, as we were talking about it as a staff and then going in your office, just knowing um, that there's no limits. Mm. And, you know, uh, being a part of the community, you know, I've been I've been here in the community pretty much my entire life. We yep. moved in the Canadian County area whenever I was in first grade. Yeah. So, um, you know, just through my community outreach, things that I've done here at the church the last five years or so, have seen the need in the schools and the community. And then as we've seen Faith Clinic come along and grow and serve the community, we've seen the need. And um, so whenever we sat down and talked about it, it was just really cool because there's no limits. And I think one of the most exciting things about this, um, as I've talked to other people in our church and in the community and everything like that, this is one of the first big things that our church has really done outside of ourselves, mm, something purely strong. for the community. Yeah. And I think, um, there, like I said, there's no limits of what we can do. On Which this. is who we want to be. Yeah. We want to be a church. Uh, that's why we say together we are reaching, discipling, sending church, impacting generations for Christ. We want to reach people. We want to disciple people. We want to send people. And we want to do that internally. We want to disciple well so that we can externally reach people yeah. and go out as kingdom influence. Well, I, I love when you came to my office, you said, uh, I mean, right after that staff meeting, yeah. you came to me and you were like, Pastor, can we sit down and have a conversation? And we went to my office, you shut the door, which you never know. <laughs> Brian, I didn't know what he was going to say. And I was like, Lord, please tell me he's not leaving. I'm going to have this guy, you know. And uh, he just looked at me and he goes, I want it. Yeah. You go, I want it. Uh, I, I really respect that. And I want to tell you that that was a piece that mm. God really drew together yeah. for us. And it's who you are, um, which is a pretty, pretty neat deal. It's exciting to me um, just to figure out different ways and new ways that we can serve the community. And just knowing that we've got the leadership here at the church, not just you, but our elders yep. and our staff yep. that are 100 percent on board. And as we've been able to share the vision with the church, like, they're 100% on board. Yeah. They're like, let's roll. It's let's, pretty let's amazing. It. It's been awesome. Well, Representative Hill, you know our community out here, I mean, as, as well as anybody. You're involved yeah. in it. Politically, you're involved in it. You're a parent in it. You're a family that lives out here. I mean, yeah. you're... You're involved in about everything that I don't think I've been at one thing you're not at. And so... <laughs> we'll accept on Sunday mornings, but we're going to fix that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. 
Sorry, he's gonna stay on, you know. <laughs> he um, is. But well, what will this mean to our community to launch a center like this that can really begin to minister to you know as we pull stats, you think forty on average around forty percent of our kids in our community are on free or reduced lunch. You think right. of. 13% of our community that's uninsured or the unemployment rate that's on the rise and prayerfully will go back down right. uh, as we get on the other side of uh, COVID-19. But we wanna be in the community a way to say to men like you to look at and say, man, this is gonna make an impact for us. How, what's it mean to our community to have this? Well, first of all, Brian and Brian, pastor, <laughs> thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, always. You know, as I said before, I always feel like when I'm with you guys, uh, one, I'm among friends, and two, yep. I'm at home. That's right. Uh, and yep. I, I appreciate y'all for that. Um, first, for our community, I think it's always crucial to have a hub type environment. Mm. That uh, you know, that that's where the strength of a community grows. Yep. Is is when you see individuals across multiple sectors pulling together for a united cause to reach mm. and to impact the lives of those uh, that are struggling, that are yeah. hurting, uh, whether that's the single parent mom or whether yeah. it's the single parent dad, <laughs> yep. whether it's uh, the shut-in, mm -hmm. right? The, the, the little lady that, that doesn't have family close by, right? There's so much need among us. I mean, yeah. Jesus, you know, even was very clear that we would always have those in need among That's us. That's right. And I think it's just that beautiful opportunity for each of us to partner together to reach our community. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the thing I love about it, and, and Brian, when he reached out to me and we first were talking through this thing, I, I, I love the idea of, you know, he expressed, this isn't about Trinity. That's right. He said, we're, we're going to be essentially the vessel That's right. by which the opportunities happen. And, and I think what a beautiful thing. Uh, there, there was a book I remember from several years ago where a pastor uh, talked about giving the church away. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The, the, the most effective ministry we can ever do is when we are coming out of the four walls and we're giving ourselves. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, I, to be honest with you, I, I can't think of anyone that would be absolutely better to direct it than this guy. Yeah. Honestly. Amen. That's, um, that's true. You know, he, for one, he's become a dear friend to me. But, um, you know, I've seen that become the DNA, if you will, of y'all's, of your community, yeah. of, of Trinity, of, of this church. And, and I just, um, I know as representative how much I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, you know, every, every Tuesday morning I, I get to meet with, you know, pastors like yourselves and community leaders uh, who that's that really is, is the heart. Yep. Is how do we not just strengthen Mustang, uh, but how do we come out of our walls and impact yeah. the greater community? And, yeah. and I, I'm very excited about this because I, I think this is just one more tangible example of how we share the love of Christ That's right. to those that are in need yep. around us. And uh, I commend you for it. Well, it's really because Canadian mm. County matters. Yeah. You know, and it's why you do what you do. Uh, it's, it's why you represent us. Uh, mm at the state capitol, because Canadian County matters, because the community in which uh, the Lord has blessed you with leadership over matters, and that's why we do what we do and all the community outreach. And it's because people matter. Amen. And that's what Together We Center is truly about. It's about people. Yeah. And it's about loving people. It's about sharing Christ with people. It's about being the hands and feet of Jesus yeah. to other people so that we can truly say, we know this, Canadian County is growing. Yes, it right? is. Right? I mean, it's. I believe it was. I believe it's it still is. one of the fastest growing, if not the fastest growing county. The fastest growing county in Oklahoma. Yeah. So people are coming. Yes. And we know they're going to be moving in here. And I, I don't anticipate, you might tell us something new, but I don't anticipate that slowing down in no. the next coming years. With that, we also know the need's growing. Right. Uh, the need's growing significantly. And as a result, uh, I think the church ought to be the ones that provide the need. Yeah. Amen. You know, I, I hope people don't have to come to you and say, Representative Hill, we got to have this in the community, this in the community, this in the community, because our community is in need. Right. Uh, I hope that you're coming to us saying, hey, thanks for providing this, for providing this, and the churches are providing this, and the church is on the rise to provide for the community, and we're not relying on anybody else, just a local church is doing it. Right. That's the gospel. Amen. That's the gospel going out, and it's, it's pretty impactful to see what we can do through all this. Yeah. It's partnership in action. 
Yeah, and, and, that's and I good. think that is why it works, right? Anytime we try and take it into ourselves, right? Yeah. And we become closed off, we start to self-destruct as a people, mm. as congregations, as, as organizations. But when we reach outside of our four walls, uh, regardless of whether we're a pastor, we're a representative, that's or right. a business owner, that's why it's so crucial that we work together yeah. to, to meet the needs in our community. And uh, I just, I, I, as a representative in the area, I'm, I'm extremely excited because I see this as one more step towards us meeting the needs for those that are hurting. And yeah. And so, yeah. You know, you know, one of the boards that I said on, we talk about the growth. Um, one of the boards that I said on, we do a lot of studies as far as demographics and the growth of the area of central Oklahoma and everything. And there, you know, the studies that they've said has said that the Western side of the Metro, which is us, it's right. Canadian yep, County, that's right. within the next 20 years will grow by half a million people. Woo! Right. That's a lot. You know, we've got 148,000 right now in Canadian County. So imagine potentially three times that growth in this area over the next 20 years. Wow. Um, so hopefully this this is a dream that can continue to expand and continue to expand. That's and right. It's been fun just even since Friday, since we announced it. Um, I feel like I've had one or two or three people a day reach out to me and said, you know, have we thought about doing something like this at the center? Just different things, yep. different type classes, different stuff, or yeah. people saying, you know, I was a mechanic for 20 years. Whenever we get the garage built, I want to help do yep. oil changes for single moms on Saturdays, you know, that type of stuff. And so um, that's been really exciting because, yeah. again, it's, it's more than just our dream. It's, that's right. it's our church's dream. It's our community's yeah. dream. And um, it's been exciting to know that our people are excited to serve others. Yep. So that's one thing I love that we're calling it Together We Center because it's not about a church. It's yep. about a group of people who are on mission for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yep. And there will be other churches that collaborate with us. There will be businesses that can collaborate with us to see the impact go around the world. Well, if you want more information, all you got to do is go to journey.trinitychurchok.com. Uh, we're in the process that where you will be able to give to this journey and you can be a part of it by giving no matter where you're at in the world, uh, praying with us for this journey, or like Brian just said, Brian Greider just said, I guess I got to <laughs> clarify all three of us. Like Brian just said, maybe God's put something on your heart and you're saying, I'm, I've I've got a special ability yeah. that I can give to the community. We want to be able to use that at our Together We Center we want to hear it. over yeah. the years and, and help plug you in. So thank you all for being a part yeah. of Trinity Coffee Break. Brian, thanks for joining us. I know you've thank had you. a crazy busy day. <laughs> so thanks for taking time out of your day to do that. Let's go ahead and pray for it. And yeah. then, uh, then y'all know how we're going to end. <laughs> Jesus, we're grateful. We're grateful for our community. We're grateful for our representatives like... Brian Hill and his family and mm -hmm. so many others that represent out here. And Jesus, we're grateful for men like that and women like that that are leading this community. Jesus, I pray that we as a church continue to arise and that we meet the needs of this community and be the hands and feet of Jesus. And may this community come to know Christ because the church is in it and loving people really, really well. Thank you, Jesus, for this time in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, y'all know how we always end. Let's put our hands in on the count of three. Together we. One, two, three. Together, together we. we.